Okay, today I'm really excited, my friends. Like every year, I do take my time and uh, kind of build a new gaming PC. And I just want to talk to you guys about the newest project that I'm probably going to go into in the future. So first of all, I have this uh, Intel 12 Gen over here. This is basically their latest CPU. I have the 12700, which is a great gaming uh, CPU that I've never actually connected to anything because I waited for a good opportunity to test out some of the recently released motherboards. And to do that, we are going to look at the motherboard um, today that I think is going to be really interesting for this build. This is the ROG Strix Z690A. It's a gaming Wi-Fi enabled motherboard from Asus that also has this D4 remark on it. This means that this actually supports DDR4 type memory. And that's good for me because I don't want to invest in uh, extra uh, memory chips. I actually have four memory chips of DDR4 from XPG laying around. So I'm going to use these guys to basically build my 12 gen in the future. So first of all, let's take a look at the motherboard itself. I'm going to go into a top down view as I already have it unboxed to save you guys some time. And as you guys can see, I really like the design. The motherboard itself basically has some new features. One of them is this one. There's a button over here. This button actually disconnects your graphics card from this PCI Express 5 slot. It's really interesting. You click on it and it goes back over here. So it's like the Q-Latch innovation, which we saw from Asus on the M.2. Um, slots. So for example, to disconnect the M.2, if you haven't seen that, there is this Q latch over here. You basically turn it around and then um, you can disconnect easily the uh, M.2 storage without uh, actually uh, using some screws. So we have a lot of stuff going on with this board. First of all, we get four different slots for M.2. These are all Gen 4 slots, which is great. They do have Gen 5 slots on the uh, more expensive uh, motherboard from this category. So two slots over here, another one over here, and another one over here. There is uh, four slots for DDR4 memory. We talked about the D4 mentioning on the box itself. Here is the slot where we actually install the CPU. It's a 12 gen uh, LGA 1700. Um, this is where you're gonna install your 12 gen basically. And beyond that, we have all the usual headers, which something that I really liked is that I have a USB 3.2 Gen 2 uh, over here. That's uh, where I connect my uh, Gen 2 X2, sorry. And on the back, I actually have another one of these slots. Uh, which is great. It's a USB slot for a USB 3.2 Gen 2 X2. That's the fastest one you can get. It's over here on the back. So we have a lot of USBs over here. We also get Wi-Fi on this. You do get the antennas and uh, you don't get an optical port for your audio. That's something that I got to mention as uh, I did have an optical port on my uh, former motherboard on my 11th gen. Uh, we have an HDMI and a display port over here. And uh, that's basically it when, when it comes to uh, connectivity, uh, Ethernet ports. Uh, you also get all the ASUS capabilities when it comes to sound, whether it's the AI noise cancellation, which I really like. So it's built in into this motherboard and it works great from what I already used on their older uh, motherboards. And that's probably it. So I'm going with building my next 12 gen PC with this guy. I still have um, a lot of planning to do as I don't really have uh, all the other parts for my build, but hey, um, I, I have the motherboard, which is which is a big thing. Um, we do get this. This is a strap that you can basically use for cable management. You can actually take that off if you uh, actually disconnect or deattach the straps from each other. So if you don't like that, you can take that off. You'll still have this space over here. And uh, I'm guessing that's all I have to say about it. Actually, it's a good motherboard. It's good enough for me and probably good enough for anyone else who needs a do-it-all motherboard. There's one thing also that this doesn't have is that this doesn't have a third PCI Express lane. You only have two of these. So if you're gonna use another card beyond the graphics card, you're gonna basically that's it. I mean, you won't have anything else to install another uh, PCI Express card. So two lanes instead of what you can see on other motherboards on this series that have three. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, you're more than invited to actually subscribe to my channel to see my future video reviews. I do a lot of gadget reviews and once a year I actually build a new PC and I would love to see you 
on my next video. So click on the red subscribe button down below. So I'll see you. Thank you very much for watching. I was already, I'm going to put a lot of videos over here for you to watch. If you like this one, you probably like these other uh, video reviews. And uh, see you on my next video. Bye bye.